Japan has tightened patrols on its exclusive economic zone since last month. The reinforced patrols and the suspended talks between Korea and Japan to renew their fisheries agreement caused concerns to the island's fishermen. Joseph Kim reports. As the bilateral talks between Korea and Japan to renew their fisheries agreement have been suspended for three years, fishing boats of the two countries are kept out of each other's exclusive economic zones. As a result, hairtail fishing by Korea's fishermen has been banned in Japan's exclusive economic zone. Jeju fishermen are forced to sail to the East China Sea to catch hairtail fish, which is three times farther than Japan's EEZ. That means increased costs and greater risk for fishing. The recent chilled relationship between the two countries is only aggravating the situation. Japan's export restriction and tightened sea patrol give concerns to Jeju fishermen. Japan has reinforced patrols along its EEZ since last month. Japan has raised the level of surveillance by flying maritime patrol aircraft to monitor its waters during the daytime and makes nighttime recordings of its sea. The province presumes that about 10 Jeju fishing boats are working near the Japanese EEZ. As trespassing on the EEZ can become a political issue, the province advises fishermen to be careful. 19 local fishing boats have been seized on the Japanese EEZ over the past five years. The suspended bilateral talks on renewal of the fisheries agreement and Japan's reinforced surveillance on its EEZ are causing big financial losses for local fishermen. Joseph Kim, KCTV.